Nadine from Juggle Mum, sat here with my son who is almost eight years old, seven and three quarters, because we're discussing toys that are appropriate for children of his age. And we have to review, da da da, it's a live butterfly garden. Totally covered you up then. <laughs> He's wanted one for ages since he saw the advert on TV. This one comes from the Natural History Museum shop and it costs £20. We've been sent it to review, so let me unbox it and show you exactly what you get. Okay, that's the box emptied. So we have our butterfly garden net here. Oh, do you want to do this? I think it... Open this up. You take that side. Yeah! Yay! So it flat packs when they're sending it to you and it pops up just like that. Now this is reusable and um, so you can continue to grow, grow butterflies, is that the right terminology? I'm not sure. You get an instruction guide with it. You also get a feeding pipette uh, with it. Let's put that I in the bag. I think you put water in that. Maybe you do. We'll have to discuss. We need to read through and discuss exactly what you do with these butterflies, the caterpillars, when they turn up. You don't actually get live caterpillars in the box, you'll be pleased to know. You actually have to send away for them. So in each box is a gift certificate. And what we have to do, I've already done this, is go online and put in my certificate code and then they will send me three to five caterpillars and food and what you have to do is request a dispatch date so it's just to be mindful of if you're buying this as a birthday gift for somebody and you want them to have it on a specific date it needs thinking about in advance um, I'd advise the parent or whoever's purchasing it for the child to make sure you get it well in advance open the box already and redeem the certificate because when you go online you can select a dispatch date for your caterpillars which means you can arrange for them to arrive on around the date that you choose. We have sent off for our caterpillars and they will be dispatched tomorrow, I believe. Um, I think they're dispatched twice a week, so I just picked the nearest available slot. And once they do arrive, we're going to come back on camera to show you exactly what you do with them. So something arrived in the post today. What have you got there, mate? Caterpillars. Okay, so why don't you open them and let's see what happens. Okay, let's have a look. This is what you get sent through, through the post. It arrives very quickly. And I believe... From I can't pull it out. You can't pull it out, okay. Just give it another try and then I'll come and help. That's it, be gentle. Okay, let's see what we've got here. That's it, let's discard this. These are our caterpillars. Let's put them on the side there. What can you see? Um, Are they moving? Yeah. Yeah, you can see them moving. Okay. Apparently, it says in the instructions in your butterfly garden that um, when you receive your caterpillars, it can take three to five weeks for the entire project to complete. So that's metamorphosis, depending on the temperature. So we should plan to avoid any school holidays or things that would um, interfere with the running of this project. Apparently when the caterpillars arrive, it's normal for them to not move very much in the first day or two. And this is how they turn up. This is a matter now of us being patient. We have to read our instructions, keep them at the right temperature, and over the next two weeks, these caterpillars will start to go make it into a chrysalis. Okay? Yeah. What do you think? Yeah. It's good, isn't it? Yeah. That so, one's not even moved yet. Well, it, it has moved. I can see it moving, but it's not going to move very much just yet. It's one of these projects that's going to require patience. So I think that we should put this box on the side, and I think we should come back to this video when we have something more to say. Okay? Yeah. All right. This is the um, live butterfly garden habitat. Show me. Let it spring up. And... Um, we're going to put the caterpillars in the um, live butterfly garden habitat. Okay, and they're here, are they? Let's have a look. They're in our... Yeah, don't pick the pot up. Let's see how they look. Can you see them? Okay, so you move your head from away from that, and then we'll see. There we go. 
Okay, they're attached to the ceiling of the cup. So it's now time to move them into their habitat where they will become butterflies. So the caterpillars that were at the roof of the tub are there hanging from the side of the enclosure and there is just one that didn't make its way up to the top so we've laid it gently on some kitchen roll at the bottom of the enclosure and now it's just a matter of time waiting for these guys to become butterflies. So this is the day we've been waiting for. We're going to release the butterflies. It's been four weeks from the start of this project to today. We've got our butterflies in our live butterfly garden and we're going to let them go because it's time for them to stand on their own two feet or fly on their own two wings. I'm a bit scared of it flying in my face actually. I've just opened up the top. Can you see it right there? That's it, can you see it? There you go. That's our butterfly making a break for freedom. Can you see him? Yay! That's our butterfly and it's flown away! <laughs> What do you think of the live butterfly garden? Yay. Yeah. <laughs>